Hi everybody, welcome back to the channel. Uh, it's Kevin here. Uh, you probably noticed that my YouTube channel name has changed. It's uh, it's now Kev's Hobbies or Kevin's Hobbies. Um, I wanted to change it to reflect um, what I do, who I am. Um, you know, my channel isn't just about one subject. Uh, it would probably make me a lot more popular on YouTube if I just stuck to one one subject but I have many many interests and my channel has always been about my my hobbies my journey with my hobbies and a little bit of my work too but not a lot uh, but my hobbies kind of define who I am and what I love to do and this is my passion and uh, and it makes it nice to be able to share it uh, with all of you um, I wish I could get a few more people to just interact a little bit more but it doesn't really matter at this point. I'm not in it for the money. I'm in it for the the fun, the journey, and just being able to share it with other people is um, kind of why I do what I do. I love to answer questions for anything that I do. And if you followed me for any length of time, you know that I will respond to just about anybody that, that asks a question. And um, maybe it's not what you want to hear, but, uh, but I will try to take the time to respond to everybody. Um, you know, I don't have a ton of followers, but I have a few and, um, you know, if the channel ever grows, you know, certainly, um, a lot more, it'll, it makes it harder and harder. Like I know guys that have 25,000, hundred thousand followers and there's no way that you can respond to everybody. You just spend all, all your time responding to them. But I do like communicating with my followers. Um. You know, some people are just following me to follow to beekeeping. Others are just following me for my boat built for my boat building, uh, my boat project. Some people for fishing or hunting or or just some people just like me. I don't know. Um, and others could care less. Um, but I guarantee you, none of them are following me for what this video is about. And this is. Um, sort of like another passion and, and another hobby that I've picked up uh, I, I usually every so often right around my birthday because it's long winters I tend to uh, look for something to do a project of some sort you know they, uh, for a couple of years I was doing remodeling in my house uh, that was back before the days of YouTube but uh, that was fun it, it took my time took my uh, you know my energy and my thought and I just delved right into it. Uh, this year, um, when I was editing videos, uh, I discovered that my, my, current, my PC that I had was not sufficient enough to edit new style videos because I picked up new cameras and, and, and things like that so I could film a little bit better uh, content for, for all of you. And I realized that my old computer just wasn't up to the task. So you saw in one of my previous videos uh, this winter that I, uh, you know, got my geek on, dove in, and uh, you know, put in a new graphics card and a new uh, eight, uh, SSD SATA drive, and um, and that worked out really well, and I, and I was successful at it, and that got me to thinking, you know, it's like you know I could build myself on my own computer, um, you know. Uh, Hobbies aren't for the faint of heart. Uh, you could spend as little as you as you want, or as much as you want. But it's hobbies are a passion um, for everybody. It kind of defines who you are. Some people, your hobby is your family, and that's awesome. Other people, you know, they have their job, they have their family, and then they have their passion. Whether it's fishing or hunting or uh, sewing or scrapbooking or woodworking or um, you know. Uh, remodeling projects or lawn care gardening for for everything you know you've, you've noticed that I, I also did some gardening videos uh, a while back I love that got all my fruit trees and stuff like that but uh, you know each year is just changes a little bit for me I've gotten a little bit less uh, out of more out of beekeeping and more into some other hobbies because honestly I only have so much time and I can't invest it uh, Beekeeping became more like a job for me than than um, a hobby, and 
it why well, I was never in it for the money, but the money that I was pouring into it, I would never, ever, ever get back out. Uh, and and it was you know, and it was um, all the time invested. Now I like spending a little bit of time on a project and then enjoying it, but I was literally just pouring all my off time into my beekeeping. Uh, every night I would head over to the farm and I would, you know, be doing splits or whatever, queen rearing and this and that. And then every weekend, all weekend long, I was, you know, um, again, doing splits or, or, or uh, mite treatments or assessments or just or feeding, feeding constantly. Anyways, it got too much for me. Um, and I got up around 40 hives and I got burned out. I'm not going to lie to you. I got a little burned out. Um, not to mention that at the end there, when I was getting burned out, I got a few hot hives, and um, they were they, they were they're mean. They were mean hives, and that kind of like was the nail in the coffin that kind of got me to go, ah, uh, you know, time to do something else. So, anyways, um, my boat hunting, fishing, my dog, my dog training. I love my dog training. I still do that all the time. But uh, you saw that I did the uh, the video on this uh, um, the old computer, and I said, "Well, hey, you know what? I can do um, the new computer." And again, like I said, uh, you know, uh, the amount of money that you pour in is it really up to you. But don't let anybody tell you that you shouldn't pour money into your passion. If uh, even if you're not going to get what you put into it out of it. Um, I said I was going to build a new PC, and I set my mind to it, and that's what I was going to do. Um, every hobby that I've had, I, I, I set out a goal to do it, and money be damned, it was going to be done. Um, I never just go for the used, cheapest crap that I can put into a hobby, but I also don't put the most elite things into um my hobby either I go for good solid components equipment whatever it is whether it's beekeeping fishing hunt I could you know I could have a five thousand dollar gun I chose not to I got a fifteen hundred dollar gun that's that's a solid my gun is a solid uh, uh, gun for me now could I go out and spend you know five thousand absolutely uh, but I I choose not to um, the same thing with uh, fishing equipment. I could have the best of the best of the best. Um, I'd be broke, but I could do it. Uh, but I didn't. I chose solid, good, well-known equipment uh, for my for my boat. You know, two two Humminbird depth finders. You know, my T Tarova, my um, battery charger, all my lighting, all, everything. My boat itself. Now, could I go and spend a hundred thousand dollars on this rather than twenty grand? Absolutely, but I got a nice, solid boat out of it that's going to last me the rest of my life, and I'm extremely happy with it. Um, and that's kind of the approach I take with any hobby that I take on. And that's where we come to today's uh, episode. Um, I finally finished my uh, PC build. And uh, I wanted to show it off to you. Um, I'm absolutely ecstatic with the uh, uh, with the outcome. Um, the components that was a frustration. I decided to do this two months ago, but trying to find components was extremely hard. And then when you did find components, they were being sold by scalpers um, because. They're just hard, too hard to find. Uh, they were all bought up, and then you end up buy, you're spending almost double um, for what they're actually worth. But I wanted to do it. I wanted to get it done, get it off my plate, and be able to play with it. And uh, so I spent what I spent, and it was what it was. And I'm too embarrassed to tell you what I actually spent on this PC behind me, but. I am very, very uh, happy with how it turned out. And uh, I just kind of, like I said, I just wanted to show it off to you. Now, most of the people here probably don't care less about it. 
Um, and some of the things I'm going to talk about are probably, you know, your eyes will glaze over, you know, where you, know, you, you, you probably don't have a clue or, or don't want to have a clue. <coughs> and I can't blame you a bit on that because uh, when somebody would talk about that kind of stuff years ago, my eye, eyes would glaze over too uh, but because I was bored. But I had a blast making this thing and uh, finally got all the components together and I was able to put it together and that was the fun part. And then flipping the switch, turning it on and actually having it work. The first get go was just ecstasy. It really was. It was it was not better than sex. Nothing's better than sex, but it was really, really good. Um, so I wanted to I show you. I also, you know, bought a couple other components. Now you can tell I've got two screens here now. I've got an ultra wide and I've got a uh, HD uh, uh, like a 4K gaming screen. Um, I bought that just to complement this. Uh, this screen is actually connected to my old computer. Um, the fun part about this is how you can mix and match. Uh, my old computer is connected to this screen and also my large 55 inch TV up there. So I can, you know, if I wanna watch a Viking game and stream it uh, from my PC, I can just move it up to my TV and I can watch it on my big screen or any anything. YouTube doesn't really matter, but I can I can throw it up on a big screen. So that makes it kind of fun. But I also got this PC hooked up to that monitor and that monitor. So you can tell that this is one big um, stretched screen. Uh, which kind of just adds to the uh, um, display, um, you know, how the overall look of the system is. Uh, and uh, I really love it. I, uh, you know, it's not like I'm going to have 100 people in here looking at it, but you know what, I get to sit here and share it with you guys and show you, and, and you might say, you know what, that's pretty cool. Uh, I'm not a Viking fan, but hey, I could do something like that for whatever it is that I like to do. Um, so hopefully it inspires you to uh, do this. Now for me, I've been a Viking fan since I moved to Wisconsin when I was, I don't know, seven. And uh, so that's been a constant in my life. And I never really like, other than some shirts, um, I never really you know, had posters that, you know, said Vikings or, and stuff like that. This was actually sent to me by a friend uh, that I met on Twitter and he was at the Vikings training camp and he bought that for me. Um, he just mailed it to me and I'm just like, holy shit, I've never met the guy, but super guy and he just sent that ball to me. Uh, but other than that, um, you know, I don't have a lot of things. When I bought season tickets, when the Vikings opened their new stadium, I was actually at this game. Um, they gave me the option to purchase a uh, legacy brick, which is in their courtyard. You can buy a brick and put whatever you want on it, and then it they put the brick actually inside that that uh, um, that monument outside um, out in the courtyard. And uh, so this is what I. <laughs> I didn't know. I, I didn't know, but that's what I bought, and they gave me a replica of what they put in the ground uh, for me. I never, I, I looked for it, but I never could find it. Um, but you know, like again, I don't have a ton of Viking stuff, so this is my Viking build, and I wanted to, you know, I wanted to do a my build, and if I was going to do a build, I was going to have a theme, and the theme was Minnesota Vikings. So this is what I did. Now one of the, one of the, um, you know, this, this computer isn't doing anything Viking related really. It's just the colors of my team. That's really all it is. Uh, it's just like this t-shirt. It's not really doing anything, but it is keeping me warm. So this computer will do what I need it to do, which is mostly my video editing and things like that. I'm not a big gamer. I kind of want to get into gaming now that I have this computer. 
Uh, but, um, but yeah, I just wanted to kind of like show you guys uh, what I did here. Um, as you can tell, it's got uh, um, you know three fans in front that are uh, run off of this um, graphics card here. Uh, they're plugged in, and if the graphics card gets a little hot, these th three fans kick in. Um, I got custom um, power supply cables with custom colors, and I designed the I designed the the pattern myself with the custom colors. And then um, and you can tell, you know, I, I I got a software program that uh, shows off the. Um, the LEDs in the fans themselves, uh, and then I programmed that for Viking colors. Uh, you know, this is the cooler and whatnot, but let's, uh, I don't know if you can see that with this uh, glass, tempered glass uh, case on it, side panel. Let's pull this off, and I'll set this off to the side. Okay, but there it is. Uh, now this is a GeForce RTX. It's an ASUS model 3070. Um, it's a Strix model, which means it has the three fans to it, uh, and those fans are down. I put a mirrored panels on the bottom here, so everything will reflect up I don't know if you can pick that up but you can you can kind of see it looks like there's a lot more cables and that's only because this is mirrored down here um, I've never seen that in a build I kind of thought that to myself um, it's got an exhaust fan on the back here uh, purple it's got uh, two G skill um, 16 gigabyte uh, memory sticks uh, it's got an Intel i7 11700K uh, CPU module. Uh, and then I also, for just for kicks, I installed a um, separate screen inside. And this screen actually shows uh, real time all the temperatures, fan speeds, um, RAM usage, uh, you know, uh, the memory usage, real time, and uh, and it gives you an indication if there are any problems or if your system is running hot or <coughs> excuse me or anything like that. And I made that with the Vikings logo, and then I also put the wins, losses, and ties. That's from last year, but I can change those for any year uh, as they go I can you know start off zero zero and one or zero one and zero or one zero zero however it is um, you can tell that I got the the time in there and seconds and then the date is on there and that's go all in real time uh, now the system itself um, I have I have four memory sticks in there uh, a two gig, a two terabyte um, hard drive SSD M M.2 SSD. I have a one terabyte uh, M.2 SSD, and that is what my operating system is installed on. And then two single terabyte SSD drives, uh, M.2 SSD drives for um, miscellaneous stuff. Matter of fact, right now, I am uh, I got uh, an external hard drive here with all my old archive pictures from years ago, and I'm installing them on on my system as we speak. I'm having them actually. You can kind of see the progress here. Let's see where are we at. Okay, so I'm about three quarters of the way. It says about I got about 30 minutes remaining. Um, it's transferring at 130 or 103 megabytes per second, which isn't, oh, it isn't the fastest, but it isn't the slowest either. But uh, I had about 700 gigabytes of information on there between videos and old pictures. But um, 
and these are, like I said, just old pictures that, bring, you know, they're old memories is really what they are. They're not junk. Also old doc, you know, documents that might be important and things like that. So I kind of have an archive uh, drive that I use that for. Um, and uh, this is really redundant because I can watch videos on this screen on the same computer while I'm doing something else over here. I can have a YouTube video playing while I'm working on creating a video over here. Uh, but one of the cool things about this is that this unit right here has what they call a KVM switch. And what that will do is I can switch between computers for this monitor and that one up there. Um, and uh, it's a switch. You stick it over here and then this will um, flash over to my old computer and that's my old that's my old computer screen right there um, and then uh, you know you can you know do whatever it is you do on this computer while I can watch a video on this computer but this is a little redundant you don't need this um, I sure don't need this, but I have two computers now, so what am I going to do with the other one? So I kind of figured, you know, this is what I can do with the other one. Um, I don't have any social media whatsoever on this uh, on this computer. Um, I don't have any. Um, I do have, you know, I you can uh, get to any of my banks and stuff like that through um, through Chrome, but um, I don't, like I said, I don't have any of my social media stuff on on this. I don't have any email on this computer. This is strictly for my video editing and maybe playing some games if I ever choose to. Uh, and some maybe some photo editing and things like this and this old one will remain as you can tell as it's got a wide screen this is tweet deck um, these are all my Twitter accounts I follow uh, you know I can watch it real time and see what people are writing while I'm doing some something else I don't know it's uh it's fun um, fun stuff pastime stuff I'm a big outdoors guy, so, so but the winter times here are, there is not a lot to do. And uh, I spend a lot of time on the computer. In the summertime, I'm hoping to be either at work or out in the yard mowing lawn or doing the bees or out fishing or in the fall out hunting or every day training my dog. But, um, but yeah, I was just wondering what you thought of my... Uh, my little rig here and if you got any questions on it um, you know let me know in the comments below uh, I hope you enjoyed uh, this little video and just remember um, hobbies are kind of what defines you don't let anybody ever tell you that your hobby is worthless it's a passion and this is what interests you and it it it, it, it is who you are and uh, and this is who I am um, you know other people have you know, a lot more personal interacting and maybe their friends are their, are their hobbies, you know, going to the mall with their friends or doing whatever. That's fine. That's great. That's your hobby. You know, going, going shopping. That could be a hobby too. This happens to be my hobby. This is one of them anyways, something to occupy your time, but, uh, pursue your passions. That's what I got. That's, that's a piece of advice that I, uh, I, if I could offer to anybody, pursue your passions. Um, if your passion wants, you want to turn your passion into your work, um, that then then all the more power to you. Uh, I can tell you one thing that turning a hobby into a profession takes real effort, work, hard, hard work uh, to make it come true. And then it doesn't, it's not a hobby anymore. Then it's your livelihood and just make sure that when you get into it that you know you're still loving it or you're stuck you know doing something that you know now you have to do it um, you know I haven't found that hobby that I I wanted to uh, have to do 
Uh, I love cooking, but I'll be goddamned if I want to sit in a in a kitchen and uh, be a chef every single day and come out smelling like French fries. Uh, but I love cooking, you know, and I I love creating in the kitchen. But yeah, there is no way on earth that I would want to be a chef or be in a, work in a kitchen. Um, so that's my only advice to you. So let me know what you think in the comments about uh, my Viking build. And uh, I actually kind of wanted to show you just a, a real quick program um, that I, I run. This'll, this is a, a benchmark uh, program. And uh, they, people run this um, uh, to tell how their system is running. Uh, and uh, this program uh, will tell you, and it stresses your computer out so that, you know, um, you know where, if there's a problem, if it's overheating somewhere, this program will do it for you. Uh, it's just a good testing uh, benchmark tester. And uh, it actually will tell you, and you, if, you, if you were watching, you could kind of see all the systems start to max out here, like my GPU usage now pegged out to 98%. That's my graphics video card. It's using 98% of it. And uh, these will start to, everything will start to heat up just a little bit more. Um, and it'll get fans to turn on and things like that. And that's, again, you know, you can look at that real time. If there's a problem, maybe you're playing a game, maybe you're video editing and you're like, it's jerking and you're, you're like, what's going on? And you can look over here and go, oh crap, you know, my system's overheating. Maybe one of your fans went out and you don't know it. I can look over at that little, uh, sensor panel and uh, immediately tell if there's a problem um, and where the problem is so that's why I did it um, another cool thing let me uh, let me turn off the sound here on this uh, system but um, another cool thing is right up there there's a little LED display now that's a startup sensor code and it'll tell you if there's ever a problem with a code where it discovered there's an issue at what point during the startup it can it would error out uh, you know it'll, it'll it'll give a code and then there's a um, a list of codes actually in the manual um, in here me uh, you know right here a list of codes like AO right now says um, yeah AO IDE initialized this initialization is started so that's in other words it's running normal um, but there are you know a hundred different codes that uh, that it could be and um, it, to identify a problem and it's another cool um, thing that I got uh, sometimes when I Put it to sleep it wakes up and it'll say 40 and so the system is waking up from an s4 sleep state it's not an error code it's just telling you that you know it wasn't just plain booted up it is it woke up from a sleep state so it's in a different uh mode i guess you could say but anyway that's my uh that's my build um yeah gpu is up to 61 degrees now uh, 60 to 61 these fans haven't kicked on yet but in about oh four or five more degrees um, these front fans will kick on because the GPU is is uh, is being uh, taxed now all these fans exhaust I got three fans on top that exhaust up that fan exhausts out these are intake fans coming in uh, but they're not operational uh, until that GPU heats up to a certain temperature and I even got purple thumb screws just because I could 
but uh, we'll keep going and um, I'll show you when the fans kick in here uh, you'll be able to tell um, let me see if I can there you can see that you can see they're not running right here um, but they will soon it's 63 degrees right now and then you also probably notice that down below there's a graph and that's uh, it says a hundred and well it's changing 85 FPS it's the bottom there's a little graph and that tells you the frames per second that the uh, game might be running on now it only will hook that program on my computer when a game is playing or when I'm doing video rendering um, it'll also hook that and it will tell you how many frames per second the system is running uh, right now you know it's running you know 88 89 90 uh, frames per second um, but this is in ultra video mode now if I was in 1080 mode it would probably be up around 200 uh, frames per second so uh, pretty good tells you how many watts you're pulling everything uh, like right now my GPU is pulling 235 watts um, my CPU is only pulling well it's pulling about 67 watts uh, normally it goes around 30 watts but my CPU is being used a little bit because I'm doing this this video um, editing okay it hits 65 degrees. I don't know when it's going to kick in here, but it'll kick in pretty soon. There they go, right there. Okay. And uh, that, as you can tell, right at 65 degrees, then those these fans kicked in. They pull air in. Um, and then you'll probably see that go down, start going down from 65 to 64. It'll start cooling um, the system down even more. So that it doesn't heat up any more than 65 degrees. Now it's down to 63 again. It's 62, 63. It's drawing in cool air out of here. Even the uh, the CPU is benefiting from these front fans running a little bit, so it's keeping it, it's getting it a little bit cooler. So, so anyways, I hope you uh, enjoyed this little video, and um, if you got any comments, leave them below. Let me know what you think about my uh, Vikings build. I'm super excited about it. I'm glad I was able to share it with you. I know I get a little bit verbose, but so be it. Till next time, take care.